Good morning. Happy. This could either be Monday morning or Tuesday morning. Who the hell knows by my schedule or when I may post this. But in real life, it is Wednesday. I edited all day on Monday and then yesterday I just kind of chilled and did some proposal stuff for work. One second. And now I am prepping for a shoot that I have at 10. Sorry, and I keep doing too many shoot stuff with you guys. I don't know, it's boring as hell. So you guys will just get mainly montage stuff uh, for the actual shoot because I am shooting a video on how to edit um, photos, both using Photoshop and also using your phone. And with that, I'm going to also be showing you guys um, how to shoot with a professional camera because I've already shown you guys how to shoot with um, your phone. And if you've not seen that, uh, I'll put the link down below just because, you know, yeah, and I'm gonna be with my girl, Kristen Jockey, and then we're gonna have a little. Um, so yeah, that's what is up today. Right now I'm about to do my makeup. At the same time, I need to watch YouTube videos because that's just what helps me move quickly within the makeup face beating process. Also drink your water. And I have not worked out today because today's gonna be my rest day because I like to work out five days a week. So I remember last week on Wednesday I did work out, but that's just because I missed Monday. So if I work out on Monday, I like to do it Monday, Tuesday, skip Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, skip Sunday. I just prefer it that way. I don't like to have too long of breaks in between. Like a two day rest day for me is too long. I'll find myself resting on the third day. The water went in the wrong pipe. <coughs> so yeah, let me um <clears throat> let me beat this face. Sometimes I love to hide. Sometimes you go to I'm basically ready, it's nine. I'm right on time. I'm gonna be leaving in the next 15 minutes. Uh, let me just pack up everything, make sure I have everything that I need, and then go. Here we go. I'm not doing any lips until I get there because what's the point? I'm gonna wear a mask, so any what it is. So we're here shooting. I have a shooting buddy. Hey. This is Chrissy. Oh my god, do you know I had a dream about just starting YouTube? Really? Like dead ass. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it for the longest time. She's been thinking about it for a while, but it's going to happen. What One you day. About? I don't know. You just like get drunk and stuff. Drunk? I don't know, you kept on doing challenges. Like I don't know. You just kept on doing challenges. I am the challenge. And then I remember like in my dream I called you once to be like, yeah. babes, like can we just not be ratchet in front of the camera? And I was and like, like I keep okay. it's not even that serious. I was like, I <laughs> Okay, so she's, uh, she's, I'm doing a shoot with her. We're helping each other out. It just makes it easier, faster for public shoots. Um, it is what it is. We are now at NT downstairs. We were actually at Honey and Doe. Now we're at NT shooting. Um, I'm just gonna cut to montage. Imagine we're hungry. Like we have zero patience. Like we just want mashakuras. So. So we're having lunch. Zen. This is so good. If you guys could understand the level of hunger that is our soul right now. As, mm, like. <sighs> and then they hear your music in the background and just. Mmm, <laughs> oh, baby. Hey. 
<laughs> hey, we must split equally. <laughs> Yes, I'm gonna put my address. First of all, this spell my name wrong. Joe, Joe Candy. From Joe. Anyways, so I got a really cute gift. Let me first, not gift, but like, it, sometimes I come home and I have like random packages. Urban Bites, they sent me something. Thank you, assorted flavors. Let's open. Okay, you can just see that in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Sonja keeps sleeping over. What? Please tell me I keep the salt and vinegar. I mean, that's all I need. There's no salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. Is that the blue packet? Yeah. Yeah! Blue. We got blue packet! Yeah! Yes. Salt and vinegar. So there's a salt and vinegar. Oh, it's salt and vinegar. There is trendy tomato. There's a salted one. I already know this one. And then there's the. Um, I love this one. The, um, the funky fruity chutney one. I want salt and vinegar. 160 calories. Okay. Are we really counting calories today? We literally just ate like fermented freaking. What the hell is the injera made of? Fermented sorghum. Fermented sorghum with a bunch of like hella fatty meats. They're not fatty. And now we're eating crisps with ice cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guess who slept over? No. We're proud of you. Good morning. Oh, just worked out. Missed yesterday's workout, so I had to work out today. Um, so loud. I have a Zoom meeting in the next three minutes. Oy. So, I'm just gonna have to do it like this. I'm gonna wash my face so I can at least look less like a wet rat and more like a human. But it's okay, don't judge me because I am meeting with guys who we have Zoom meetings all the time together, anyways. And we've just become so close that we all just do our Zoom meetings in pajamas. So this is not going to be weird at all. Or unprofessional at all. I'm pretty sure one of them is still in bed. So, I do that. I made it. Sorry, the thing was taking so long to connect. I was just staring at it like I asked, so no. Hold on. Okay. Say hi, Dan. You're on the vlog. <laughs> Listen, guys. Like literally. It is dead. Oh, my job. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy-five years later. Hi. Okay, it's been a few days since my last um what? Since I last vlogged this vlog. I think I stopped on Wednesday. I don't know. Was it Thursday? I don't know. I don't know. Uh but it's Sunday now. I don't know the exact date. But uh, I think I'm ready to get back into the routine. I kind of have to re I kind of had to reset myself So with that I need to reset my entire life reorganize everything And I think that's really important, but first I really want to work out. I am starting a new workout routine um, I'm a little nervous about it because it's harder than what I've been doing and I've been using YouTube videos just because I've discovered that's what works best for me I don't like being given a list let me first get something small to eat and then start my new workout routine and then we just go from there yeah first breakfast now, now, sometimes I just want to tell you to stop this is 10 minutes of that workout So my Sunday plan, my Sunday plan is to get my life together again. So with that, I need to go through my schedule. I need to go through my planner. I need to restructure everything just because work has definitely come back as like we're back. Um, we've been back, but like we back, back now, like back, 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 back and forth and forth. So I need to restructure my entire calendar shooting days um what deadlines i have what needs to be done when editing days like, i just need to like sit down because also my biggest thing is that i don't want to start falling behind on youtube because i finally figured out my rhythm 
Oof, so I need to figure that out. Secondly, I need to declutter the things that have been bothering me just because there are things in this house that need to be cleaned. The closets are fine, so that's done. But I need to do the kitchen. There's an area that has like a bunch of boxes that have just had, like I've never moved those boxes. I need to demolish those boxes. I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. But outside of that, I need to go through all of my equipment, start separating pieces because I the last time I had to shoot I kind of had like an anxiety attack thing cause, like those just things that were missing that was supposed to be there that I remember that moved them a while back and I couldn't remember where so I need to go through everything find every single piece arrange everything um, oh I'm getting a shelf for my bathroom I watched Sharon's video and I was just like oh my god that's exactly what I've been needing like my bathroom has been irritating me but i've just been like i don't know like do i get a shelf do i get drawers do i get what but then i saw it i was like oh my god that's actually exactly what i needed um so i'm in the process of getting that to rearrange my entire bathroom situation because it is a hot damn mess um i'm also getting shelves made for the kitchen i'm getting them both made at the same time because i need them for my sanity i'm the one who's always home i'm the one who's like always cooking all, like it's just it's for me like for me not to lose my damn mind i need to do that so i've already sent um the images to my guy he's in the process of making them hopefully they'll be done by not this vlog but the week the, the vlog after that then i can show you guys basically what i've realized is i have been incredibly disorganized in every single part of my life in the past couple of weeks that it's kind of like affected me and making me feel some levels of anxiety that i do not like because i've ever been struggling to wake up in the morning because i'm just like i don't want to deal with the day so i need to fix those things so i need to fix my work life organize that i also need to like actually organize like what i can visually see is disorganized so that i can actually feel like some level of at peace within me if that even makes any sense so that's what we're doing today so where all my notes see again i don't even know where all my notebooks are oh where are my notebooks let me can see this one but i need the other one Okay, I have two notebooks I showed you guys in the beginning of the year. This notebook, this is when I thought that, you know, things were going to be so good. 2020 was going to be my... But, um, yeah, 2020 has different plans for me. So, I have two separate notebooks that I write in for two different things. So, I use this notebook as my rough draft type of thing so I have my notes my priorities things that I need to do and then I break them down day by day in this notebook uh this was sent to me by candy coated notes um I'll put their information down below for both notebooks I really love this one because it's even more detailed just this is how I keep I keep myself organized in my head so if you guys don't know this I don't think I've actually ever mentioned it I think I'm, I don't know but I have dyslexia yeah that's it I have dyslexia if you guys are curious about a video on that please let me know I can you know do one real quick for you guys but because of dyslexia I kind of get disorganized very very easily so I always have to have everything in categories in sections just so that I don't forget things and it happens a lot anyway so for this notebook it has a whole bunch of different sections and i like to use it for my day-to-day -day stuff so you'd write down the date it has appointments um things you're grateful for which i really do like because it's nice to be able to write down things you are grateful for because we sometimes forget especially um in this time it's really nice to just have to keep reminding yourself <clears throat> top priorities for the day Exercise and health since I work out. It's actually useful Breakfast you can also do your meal stuff on here habits goals purchases, which I really am grateful for Because I sometimes be spending more than I need to So now I I found this random box of hair dye and I was just like screw it let me just use it as I 
work on the boxes in the living room. It's a vibe. From Philips I needed um, my old mixer my hand mixer I broke it cuz I'm a mess um, I am working on a couple of projects with Philips very very excited and very thankful for that sorry uh, kitchen has been cleaned uh, so with that I really needed a stand mixer but then one of my biggest things was I don't want to invest in the, the super expensive stand mixers until um, we move into our own place meaning like we rent here like we pay for the rent here but like buying a place so that's where i'm going to start investing like proper money in a lot of things okay i am making such a good time today it is one i have uh reorganized myself i have shaved my head i've colored my hair i've worked out i've had breakfast and lunch oh I'm proud of myself so much so I'm giving myself a shoot well not it's not like I still need to do it like it still work but like I got time for all that stuff I don't know why I thought it was gonna be a full day thing so what happens when you wake up early hey, 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 hey. All right, so let's do this there's something so nice about just like a freshly shaved head like it's just so like <laughs> and yes I know my baby hairs are white that's from the bleaching I can't unwhiten them and I don't know how to get them to this color like it's a vibe at this point mainly because <laughs> I don't care um so yeah let me <laughs> beat this face so that I can like continue having an incredibly productive <gasps> did the power go out everybody relax we're good <laughs> sorry I get stressed out because why are you not working again I thought I just fixed you okay I fixed it I had to move some cables around because one of them is not working and I do not know why and I don't feel like figuring it out why <sighs> I'm ready to shoot but before I do that let's do our regular thing of shouting out some Kenyan brands so first thing I want to talk about ugh, they're dolls I know a lot of us are grown so we don't really play with dolls but I also know a lot of us have kids or nieces or nephews you know what else so the company is Baby Rack Kenya. I will put all the information down below for you guys if you're interested for your niece, uh, your daughter. So these, let me first take them out of their plastic bag. These dolls are black dolls. This is exciting to me because I was one of those kids that used to play with dolls when I was younger. And I do remember, oh girl, what happened to your hair? Okay, I've put, oh, there you are. There she is. And I do remember, I'm trying to judge her back up again. You know, you gotta play with them curls. Now let's talk about Baby Rack Kenya. I remember when I was younger, I used to love playing with dolls. I was a doll person, I know, shocking. Me being into dolls and dressing up and being the girliest version of a child ever. <gasps> Shocker. Yes, I loved playing with dolls. Barbie is the whole thing. It was just my jam. Doll houses, we did not have money for doll houses, but I did build my own out of shoe boxes and cartons that we had in the house or in the apartment. So seeing this, it made me so happy because I remember when I was a kid, how hard it was to find dolls that looked like me. A little black girl majority of dolls especially in Kenya which was weird you'd think that we would have had more black dolls than uh, other continents but no we did not have any black dolls when I was growing up in Kenya at least none that I saw it was always little white blonde girls with blue eyes and that thing which 
I think does affect girls as they get older um, or at least when they're at that age where they're slowly starting to learn themselves and learning to love themselves so these dolls are black dolls and they come in different shades of black because we do come in different shades of black they sent me these two because at the time they only had these two little girls left and each girl has her own name representing her skin tone do we know your name sweetie sweetie what's your name hold on so this gorgeous little melanated thing is called honey and then her she's coco sorry i had to like find the names but honey and coco this hair is so much fun there's her face there's her face also for the dolls they do sell clothes for them so if your daughter is like me I used to like getting as many different outfits as possible for my little dolls to change them out every single day so they do have crocheted pieces that you can also buy separately for them uh, yeah so let's do that let's give little girls something that when they look at they see themselves in it so that they can learn to love all of their beautiful brown skins of every single shade uh, so awesome next thing I want to show you guys this is by a company called Kipato Unbranded it is a Kenyan brand Kenyan made Kenyan worn Kenyan represented and they sent me a few pieces that I absolutely love and I wanted to share with you guys again I also put all the information in the description box down below but these are some earrings I am absolutely obsessed with these especially the pink ones I don't know if you can see the detailing like it's it's beautiful like I love how like it is gorgeous and then I got these in like a tan beige-ish color and then I got this neck piece focus it's not fo it's like refusing to focus on anything but my face okay there we go absolutely gorgeous and I think it's gonna be quite long like maybe up to there there's something else oh this is what I was really excited about this is an anklet. I have been wanting an anklet for so long. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, queen. You better work, 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 work. Ow. Yes, and of course I'll probably wear them uh, in general and I'll show you guys on Instagram, but these earrings I'm mad excited about. Again, this is by Kipato. And the information will be down below so this is a dress by Ruby um, and her Instagram is style by Ruby Kenya again I'll put this down below um, I'll try this on and show you guys but it is a one sleeve dress Ankara I feel like I'm gonna make it shorter cuz I like to dress like that. but you know it is what it is so here is a dress too lazy to zip this part because I'm just showing you guys real quick I love the sleeve a lot only thing that I think I'm just gonna have to do I'm gonna make it shorter at first I was thinking of making it more form-fitted like that but no I think I'm just gonna hem it up like this evening cute right oof oh I'm super into this very cute all right oh one last thing these heels so these heels were sent to me by glam access Kenya absolutely love them let me try them on and show you guys I think I'll be doing this when I show you guys shoes Cause sometimes some things you kind of need to see it on to get the full wham bam thank you ma'am All right, let me start shooting and then I'll see you guys later. I am done shooting for the day. I am starving. I'm 
So right now I'm gonna wash off my face get into my pajamas yet again. Also, I do realize that like the same pajamas every single day in this vlog, but in my defense, I didn't shoot from Wednesday and I started again on a Sunday. So, also my pajamas were washed on Thursday and then I wore them on Saturday. So, it might look like I just wear the same clothes every single day, but it is what it is. All right, let me wash my face and get back into the same pajamas. It just looks like I've just had one long ass day, whatever. Good morning, so I'm about to make breakfast. I'm making some oatmeal pancakes. Uh, I just wanna make them before I work out so that when I work out, I don't have to cook after. Um, but yes, I just wanna first show you this. This is what happens to my office after I shoot. Do you see? Like, it's just a flipping mess Ugh. all right let's cook something okay so to make a healthier version of pancakes with oats um, I make my own oat flour you can also buy some I don't know from where if you're in Kenya but if you can do it great if not you can make it yourself with just the oatmeal that you have um, just make sure they're not steel oats because steel oats are basically oats in their raw form so they've not yet I don't know what you'd call it blossomed into like the flat thing that we know as oatmeal I'm just gonna use oats you can make it by hand if you want it's just a lot more work because you have to turn the oats into a powder form so unless you got a mortar and pestle and you're willing to sit there and like grind it up yourself ain't nobody got time for that so a food processor makes this a lot easier as per usual I don't measure anything because we're not baking so here we have my food processor um almond milk because i want mine to i don't know i just i also still try to cut down on my milk products uh, some almond some vanilla extract i'm going to be using extract as opposed to the paste because i want to save the paste for cookies also i keep forgetting to tell you guys where i got this stuff from so i got this and the paste my vanilla paste actually no I'm gonna use this screw it um, I got this from a Kenyan brand I think it's called Nysenya 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 something Nysenya foods I'll put their information down below if you guys want to order from them very happy with it very excited some honey for sweetener but we're not gonna use too much and then we're also gonna use a very old banana the older and more disgusting and mushier, the better. And of course, I'm baking soda to get it nice and fluffy. Fluffy. And some salt because everything has to have a little bit of salt for balance. All right, so we're just gonna dump everything in the processor, blend it together, and that's basically it. Well, like I said, just listen to your own sisters. And trust me, use some sort of milk product, like whether it's almond milk, oat milk, milk milk, you don't want to use water. It's nasty. A very ripe, bruised banana, a pinch of salt, a little bit of honey. You know how messy honey can get? It's just so ridiculous. Some vanilla paste. Baking soda, I got baking soda. Oh, I almost forgot eggs. You need an egg. You always need an egg. And then blend it. Okay, so you want it to be a thick consistency for the pancake but also I've just tasted it and I want some more banana in mine um, again just listen to your to your forefathers your ancestors oh and if the consistency when you guys are making yours if it doesn't if it's very watery 
um, or too liquidy just add extra oats and keep blending until it's a consistency that you want it to be so it should be thick Pancakes. Oh, you can also add cinnamon. I just don't have the cinnamon, 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 which is why I didn't add it in this. But throw some in when you're making the batter. It's yummy. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to skip the workout today because I have some work that I really need to finish up, and a random email that has just come in that I need to start working on right now. So what I'm gonna do is eat breakfast and start working on that stuff. Also. I'm super excited about what I'm going to be doing with this. Hopefully it's going to be next week content, next week's content, or the week after that. We'll see. But it's going to be so good. Oh, there's an air fryer. I'm so excited. I'm so... Oops. I thought I broke something. We're good. Yay. Oh, what is that light behind me? Will this balance it out? Nope, not at all. Wait a minute. That's better. So you've seen the mess that is my office right now. First of all, can we just talk about one thing real quick? When people work out, those people who spend money on like good workout gear, bless your heart, I don't think I'm that person. I wear crap. Like these leggings I've had for five years, they've lost a lot of their elasticity. When I work out, I have to do this like every three minutes. I only wear raggedy old t-shirts. This one used to be almost a high neck. It is now an off shoulder top. Only thing I spend money on are sports bras. So if you're out here, buy Adidas, Adidas, Adidas. Everyone pronounces them differently. For what to sweat in. I want to be you when I grow up. Cause I'm not that I'm not her. I've never been her. I can't even live that life because working out is for the raggedy clothes. Just had to say that. I've seen so many people who I follow because of their fitness journey and I'm just like, you won't sweat in that? Girl, that thing's so cute though. You should wear that to like the club or for like a lunch or for like brunch. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so plan for today. Cleaning my office, going through emails, there's some stuff that I need to reply to immediately, immediately. I have two very important meetings happening tomorrow, so I have a couple of outfits that I just want to iron out, basically to prep. That's one of the things that I do for like my sanity, so I don't wake up in the morning being like, what are you going to wear? Ah! So that's what my plan's going to be. What is this? What is, like, what happened? It was so nice yesterday. So now we're just gonna do some householdy stuff as we talk. I need to iron some clothes and I get to use my new, new, new iron. Mm. By the way, if you're in your 20s, this is just <laughs> a look into your future. You will reach a certain age, like 28, 29, 30s where the most exciting thing that can happen to you and for you is like new stuff for your home so i get excited with new sponges for cleaning dishes i love new appliances like getting a new blender or like oh it's just like my jam so i got a new i got a new i got a new iron i'm so excited so I need to iron these pieces for tomorrow's meeting, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to wear, but I'd prefer if they were ironed at least so that I don't have to rush in the morning trying to figure out what to wear. Yes, my office bathroom is a storage unit slash bathroom. It's my life. This apartment doesn't really have much storage space. That was terrifying. 
It is a Phillips iron. I'm doing a couple of projects with Phillips and they sent me this and I was really excited. So that's where the air fryer is coming in. Uh, it is a steam iron and it does everything that a steam iron does but like better and newer. I'll put the link down below if anybody needs an iron and you just need like this mofo. I'm super excited. So this is the easier and faster without temperature settings steam iron. That's actually what I was really excited about because my old one had, you know, those dials where you have to keep changing it depending on what you're ironing. So if you're ironing linen, you have to set it to the linen. And then if you're ironing something else, cotton, whatever, you have to set it to that before you iron. That's how I end up burning something. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it because I was too lazy. I was just like, can't be that bad, but <laughs> linen makes the iron really really hot and then you have to go to like something more like sensitive you're gonna burn it anyway so this doesn't do that it already has a sensor within itself to basically change its own temperature according to what is it you're ironing so it can tell by the plate and that is a new plate like that is a sexy new plate all right it can't be that difficult I'm not reading instructions, I'm going to refuse. I missed it completely. Like I said, it's not that hard. I just poured it into that hole. That's the hole where the water goes. And then the rest, it does its thing. Like, it's a new freaking iron. So, remember the videos that I showed you while I was working out? Okay, so... I decided to change up my workout routine. I was using, um another video also by pop sugar for a little bit and i kind of got used to it my body just stopped getting sore like completely um so that's why i decided to change it up so the new girl that i am using i forgot her name but she just saw the video it's down below if you want to actually try out that new workout i'm gonna put both of them i'll put the one that i was using before and the one that i'm using now yo when i tell you that girl is out here trying to like murder us and I mean that in the best way possible because her workouts are intense. Like intense. Because they're high intensity training with weights and everything. It's absolutely amazing. If you guys are actually curious about also different workouts to try out, if you guys don't have the, the same equipment as in the videos, just go to Pop Sugar or anything on YouTube and then just type in what equipment that you have or what is it you're trying to work out um i'm usually a fan of full body workouts i'm not a fan of you know just doing workouts for just your bum because there's no way you can actually physically do that even with the chloe ting challenge you can't do that her challenge yes is for you to get a flatter stomach but her workouts are full body like full on body so you're over there thinking that you're just working out your abs no, you're working on full body. Sorry, my thing died. And also I just realized I could straighten the camera out a lot better. So I also did realize that me and just uh, jogging, we're just, we're not it, sis. It ain't me. And that is okay. I found out workouts that work great for me. So high intensity at home and weight lifting and weight training has been great for me. So I think it's just one of those things like you just need to figure things out slowly. You know one of the most annoying things to iron? Wrap dresses. So annoying. So annoying. As I finish ironing this, if you guys do not mind just giving me about 30 seconds of your time for a hashtag ad. Because sponsored by Philips. You guys have no idea how long I have been looking for like a Barry White-esque oh yeah song on this freaking computer. Like, 
45 minutes just for that snippet and that's the best that I could do. Anyway, it's me, I tried. I tried, it was supposed to be silly and cute and like just so. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just gonna wrap it up here and uh, really love that iron. And looking forward to seeing you guys next week. Follow, subscribe, like, follow me on Instagram. I keep forgetting to say a bunch of stuff. All that stuff. Especially subscribe and like. Yeah, and share. Also share if you like my vlogs. Yeah. Bye. See you guys next week. Mwah.